The wait is over. The highly anticipated Callaway Apex range is here. We've got the Pro, MB, and CB, and we're gonna tell you exactly what you need to know about each iron. They're all forged with a 1025 carbon steel, but the main difference comes in the Pro, where from five to three iron, it features a 455 face cut, which we've seen in the Paradigm iron range as well. So you're gonna get explosive speeds, great distance, and that little bit added forgiveness as well in this hollow body design. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Apex MB. Now, not gonna lie, these look class. I mean, you've got a lovely thin top line, got a nice thin sole as well. You've got a dual chamfer. It's gonna improve the turf interaction and allow you to get through the turf nice and easy, like razor sharp. So you're gonna get great contact and consistent contact at impact. This is also forged now I mentioned at the start, it's a 1025 carbon steel. It's all one piece forged. So face and body is all one. Now you have the MIM waiting at the back, really handy when you're going through into combo sets, for example. So if you're, we're gonna play MBs in the lower irons or, and then go into the CBs, it, it would keep the swing weighting consistent all the way through. So really handy when you're getting fitted as well. You've also got the CG positioning, which is a progressive CG. So you're, you'll find in the lower irons, it's gonna be higher and then are getting progressively lower into the longer irons. So you're gonna get lower spin and a longer flights as well. All right, so we've got the Apex CB. It looks great. Nice thin top line again, dynamic in design, pre-war lean, leading edge. So you're just gonna get better contact and turf interaction when striking the ball. Now you've also got, again, a progressive CG, just like the MB, where it's gonna be higher in your short irons and then progressively getting lower into the longer irons as well. And what you'll find with this forge design, it goes through a five step process just to give you great feel and precision as well off that club. Now where this kind of differs slightly compared to the MB is the weighting. Now you're going to get weighting in the heel and the toe as well. Now obviously you have the MIM weight at the back as well but the weighting in that heel and toe is going to give you better workability and stability as well. So you're going to get that little bit added forgiveness in, in this head in comparison to the MB. Okay, so now we've got our Callaway Apex Pro. Now, this is a hollow body construction, so you're gonna get great speed, great distances off this face, because what you're gonna find is the face is gonna flex because of that hollow body design, but you've also got urethane microspheres in here as well, which is gonna dampen the sound, but also give you a really nice premium feel. Now, what you're gonna find is you're gonna have a progressive CG, like we've seen in the other irons, but the difference with this, like I mentioned earlier, from five into your three iron, you're gonna have the 455 face cup, and that is gonna give you explosive distances and added forgiveness in those longer irons. So what you're gonna find in the shorter irons is the 1025 face plate on the front. Now, all that's gonna do is just give you enhanced control with the shorter irons on those shorter shots. You're also gonna find, just like the CB range, you have the dynamic sole design as well with a pre-worn leading edge just to give you better turf interaction. All right, so we're now gonna hit three shots with each iron and just see how they compare. And we'll go through the data and the numbers from the flight scope. We've got the Callaway CB. Feels so soft coming off this. Woo! That's got to be bloody close. I just dragged a little bit. I think I made it on the green though. So this is a pro. That's the best members bounce I have ever seen. I hit that fat. I don't know how it's got where it's got, but we'll take it. No pictures on the scorecard. That's the shot. Get a hole. Oh, I think it just hung on the right side of the green. Thought it was coming back. Now we've got the MB. Let's see how, how we get on. I don't know what it is, but looking down at a blade sometimes just makes me a bit nervous. See there. Oh, it's just falling off left. Feels great though when you middle it. Very, very nice. As you can see, pretty, Pretty good result here, decent spread. 
from 190 yards away from the pin, so quite happy with that. If you haven't already, you should definitely give us a like and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe. Pretty decent display and dispersion from all the irons. Um, definitely giving myself good looks, especially from being 190 yards back. The MBs and the CBs were very close, almost identical in spin. Um, in distance, they differed a little bit. Um, I was getting a better contact with the MB, um, which I was getting a little bit further distance. So I was getting 195 to 198, and I was getting 190 yards as well uh, with the CB. But the one thing that's really interesting is the height. Now, the CB, I was getting 100, 100 feet in the air, and with the MB, I was getting 114. So quite a difference in height, especially in that seven iron. Now in the Pro, it was a 190 yard carry, 191 total and 7,000 spin. The height wise, it was a lot lower, 92. So quite a big, quite a big difference, difference there, fly, flying lower. But ball speed wise, this was where it really kind of differed. So with the CB, it was 135 ball speed with the seven iron. And with the Pro, it was 133. Now, you could put an asterisk beside that because I did hit one fat. So that was obviously taking the average calculation down. So that will be probably closer to 137 to 138, which was my fastest ball speed with the Pro. With the MB, this one was significantly quicker, 142 miles an hour. So I was definitely getting it out the middle. And I have to say with the MB, it felt amazing and so so soft now looking at the pro cb and mb there is a clear standout for me which one i would choose the consistency i found with the cb was superb and i think the shots that i hit to the flag it just really suited me i love the weighting and stability that it has obviously with those weights and the toe and the heel and the turf interaction you get is superb. I felt like I could compress the ball really nicely and just hold that face nice and square at impact. Came off like a missile as well. You just hear it fizz through the air. The MBs are really nice to hit. They feel great. They come off the face really hot as well. They do launch that little bit higher. So if you are someone who maybe struggles with a bit of height, especially if you're that high level elite player, it could be a great option and a great option to go with a combo set in MBs and then into CBs and later on as well. The pros love the feel of them, super soft. You can feel that hollow body really working. It just kind of like sails off. Probably more of a mid flight in comparison to the CB and the MB. Superb, you're gonna get great distances, great speeds off those irons. And of course, going into your five to three, you've got that 455 face cup where you're gonna see great explosive distances as well but the whole range has been superb. I've loved hitting each iron. It's been fantastic. But I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who tuned in. I've been James from Bunkered. See you next time.